What's up everybody? Moppet here from Eat Sleep Mix Repeat and today we got a special episode for you guys. Alright, so Eat Sleep Mix Repeat by the way. Amazing. I had so much fun. All you guys got great feedback on it. Everybody was super motivated. Uh, a lot of you guys said, you know, you're just really happy to get your recipes out there and see them get reviewed. So I was like, you know, I can't just come back from that and just do like a regular, you know, random three recipes. Like, couldn't just go back to that. So today we have a special episode. We're going to be looking all at um, JFM's recipes. John from JFM Development. You know, he does. He has a YouTube channel. I'll definitely put the link down in the description. I'm sure pretty much all of you already subbed to his channel. If you're not, definitely should be. Um, he also has a Facebook group called the Just Freaking Mix Group. Awesome Facebook group. He's just an awesome guy. He just had a baby too. So congrats, man. Yeah, beautiful baby girl. You know, bringing life into the world. All right, so let's get down into it. So his first recipe up that I wanted to review is called Strawberry Crunch, and this is a tailored house remix. Like always, never had the original because I never was that into commercial e juices, but anyway, so this is his version of it. And let's give it a, oh, well, I guess the recipe is 1% Berry Crunch Cereal, TPA, 1% Flavor West Yellow Cake, 2% TFA Cheesecake Graham Crust, 1% Flavor Art Meringue, 3% TFA Strawberry Ripe, 3% Capella Sugar Cookie, 2% Capella Sugar Cookie V2, 1% Capella Super Sweet, 4% Capella Sweet Strawberry, and 3% Vanilla Bean Ice Cream TFA. Alright, so yeah, so two different Capella Sugar Cookies, right? Um, I did mix it with both. He said you can just mix it with, the, um, with just the version 1 if that's all you have. You know, I did buy the version 2 just to mix it up, you know, the way he created it. So, he said it still works, he said it's better this way, but, you know, if, you know, if you don't have the version 2 or you don't want to go pick it up just for this recipe, you don't, don't stress on it too much, it'll still be alright. Alright. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a really awesome strawberry. Just super sweet, you know, bright strawberry, um, lots of really nice bakery notes. I mean, the bakery notes really come out in this one. The creams, man, it's nice and thick and creamy. It's nice and rich. Yeah, he has a video on this recipe because this is a pretty newer one. I think it only came out like a month or two ago. But, uh, yeah, this is an awesome one. Um. The berry crunch really just helps like boost up those strawberries a little bit. And you definitely get, get a different feel with using both the sugar cookies. Because I've had so many recipes like similar to this one, but this one definitely stands out, you know. Like it it sounds like it's definitely, you know, it's a it's a profile, it's a flavor profile that's been done a lot, you know, and in very similar ways, but he definitely took that and made it his own. You know, and it's not just adding the sugar cookie V2, even though that is part of it, because it definitely kind of molds the sugar cookie a little different than, you know, it would be in other recipes. Um, but just the whole recipe as a whole, like, it just, it's really good. It's just a really good, really rich, yeah, get your sweet tooth on. Excellent. Excellent. He went for the classic sweet strawberry and strawberry ripe combo, and it worked out great. And like I said, that little bit of berry crunch cereal just kind of just molded just a little bit, you know, kind of made it his own. So, yeah, I think he did an awesome job on this recipe. You know, pretty classic, and just he made it his own, and he did a great job at it. All right. Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, definitely four out of five, easy. Awesome recipe. Good job, John. All right. Put a little bit more on this one. So the next one we're going to be looking at it is his apple pie. Can't go wrong with apple pie. All right, his apple pie is 
2% Favora apple filling, 3% flavor art apple pie, 1% TFA brown sugar, 1% flavor art caramel, 1.5% Capella double apple, 1% flavor art Fuji apple, half a percent Capella golden butter, 1% Capella super sweet, and 4% TFA vanilla bean gelato. So again, nice and rich, nice and sweet. Um, this one, and then like going back and looking at it, it does lack a little bit on the, you don't get very much pie crust out of it. Like, you know, there's the flavor of apple pie, so you get a little bit from that, but it does get kind of hidden by everything else. Um, but what makes this recipe awesome is that it's really authentic to the apple pie filling. Like you get this nice, gooey sweet just like almost like you know when you take the bowl and you mix up everything all the apple pie filling it's almost like if you took that and just like put it in a pan and bake just that and then just ate that which is awesome that just sounds delicious i'm a fat kid so that sounds delicious to me um yeah it's really good man like really good but yeah so that's what you get you get that nice gooey apple pie filling The apples are in there, layered in there very nice, you know. You really get a nice apple. Um, yeah, when I vaped this, I could one there was, like, liquid amber in it. Just because, like, just that nice, like, gooey filling you get. But there's not. So it must be, like, just kind of the mix of the brown sugar. Maybe the apple pie, the Favar apple pie, or apple filling. I haven't single flavor tested that one. I got it just for this recipe. But the addition of butter. And I don't know how he managed to use Capella Super Sweet at 1% without it just overpowering, like overpoweringly sweet. Like that's one thing you'll notice about John. Like he just he knows that he knows how to use sweetener, you know. Like, he uses it in pretty much most of it, like just about all of his recipes, but He's pretty much mastered sweetener because, yeah, I every like when I was mixing these up, I'm like, man, they're gonna be so sweet, and they are really sweet, but not overly sweet. You know, it's not like you just get the sweetener, but you really get a lot more out of this than just like a, just a sweet apple. You know, <clears throat> with those butters and a little bit of creams and everything, like, yeah, it's really good, man. Yeah, I gotta give this another four out of five. The brown sugar and caramel in there. Good, man. It's good. Awesome. Great job, man. All right. And our recipe of the week is raspberry sugar cookie ice cream final. So his raspberry sugar cookie, obviously by JFM Development. And this recipe reads, half a percent acetyl pyrazine, 2% uh, flavor art raspberry, 1% flavor art cookie, half a percent flavor art liquid amber, 4% TFA um, raspberry sweet, 4% Capella sugar cookie, half a percent Capella super sweet, 5% Capella Vanilla Bean Ice Cream, 2% TFA Vanilla Swirl, and half a percent Capella Vanilla Whipped Cream. Yeah, this is just a great raspberry sugar cookie. Almost like a raspberry powdered, like powdered sugar, powdered sugar cookie. That's what I really get out of it. Yeah, and he managed with all those creams in there, and all those like creams. You know, they're all like kind of vanilla cream, so you get a lot of vanilla out of them. But he managed to keep the texture in there. You know, with using that cookie and the cereal piercing, which was a really good choice because those are all kind of those are both kind of like darker, um, darker, heavily textured cookies. 
or well, not really cookies, but bakery notes. <clears throat> and then mixing those, those like kind of darker bakeries with a lot of really bright creams, just really just balanced everything really nicely. And this one probably got my recipe of the week because <clears throat> it's not quite as rich as some of his, his other recipes are really rich. And this one's a little less rich, so I think this is something more I could just vape all the time. Even though I'm not the hugest raspberry fan, but I do like raspberry when it's done right, and this is done right. And I just want to keep vaping on it. <laughs> so yeah, so excellent, man. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this one a five out of five stars out of five stars. I try not to do that very often, but um, yeah, these recipes really blew me away. They were just really good, really tasty, and. Um, <clears throat> I really like doing this where it was kind of just looking at one mixer all week like that's pretty much what i did all week i just vaped on jfm's recipes really enjoyed them and then you really see you know kind of their mark you know like their um their style you know i mean there's definitely i think now i could definitely tell when a recipe would be like a jfm recipe but Excellent job, man. These are all great recipes. I really enjoyed them. Um, <clears throat> for all the viewers out there, yeah, I think I'm going to try and do this maybe like once a month or so. It's just like, look, kind of look at one one mixer and just do their recipes all week. So if there is a mixer that you guys want me to look up their recipes and do a whole video dedicated to them, um, just put it down in the description or in the comments. Just comment you know, on a mixer you would like to see me do a video on. JFM, great job, man. Congratulations on the baby, and keep making delicious recipes. And everybody else, I would definitely suggest you go check out his YouTube channel, his Facebook group, check him out on ELR. Good stuff. I'll put all the links in the description. And what else? Do I have anything else to talk about? I think that pretty much wraps it up for this one. So, till next time, you guys, eat, sleep, mix, repeat, and be good to each other. Talk to you later.